Hi, this is David from Concert Blogger again. I'm here today with Jody Good, amazingly powerful singer, songwriter. Um, she just came out with her first EP, and she's been kind enough to sit down with us and have a little chat. Hi, hi, Jody. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Spectacular. Um, let's start out by uh, how did you first realize how truly gifted of a singer you are, and that you wanted to pursue music as a passion and a profession. Well, I used to sing for my family growing up, but around four years old they actually suggested that I start taking singing lessons. Um, and I was always very shy, but I still always knew I had this like music inside of me that although I was really shy, I wanted to sing. So I started with singing lessons, which I then proceeded to take you know, for like 15 more years, <laughs> until I realized it was time to pretend I wasn't shy. <laughs> because if I wanted to sing, I couldn't be. Cool. Um, were you surrounded by music in your upbringing at home and your family? Did they, did they, are they a really big influence on, on what you do? No, no, not at all. I mean, my mom played guitar a little bit, but no more than anyone else was I surrounded by music. I just found a passion for it. Your voice in it. Um, you got to play some showcases recently at the uh, Sundance Film Festival. How did that come about? And you will be will you be playing any more showcases maybe at CMJ this year or I think I am playing at CMJ and South by Southwest this year. Um, and Sundance I was, you know, someone had an opportunity for me to play some little showcases and it was really, you know, phenomenal and I hate to fly, but I figured since it was Sundance I'd go. And it was well worth the the agonizing flight. <laughs> Oh, that's that's difficult when you don't yeah. like to fly. Yeah. Um, who who are some of your influences? And uh, I noticed that you have a bunch of cover videos on your on your website, and I, I would think that that's pretty much where you where you're gonna go. But wh who would you consider some of your influences? Um, not necessarily the cover videos. Actually, my influences are Jewel, Pink, um, Christina Aguilera, um, John Mayer. So yeah, actually, not really at all my cover <laughs> videos. But, awesome. Yeah. But well, that's cool, you know. Um, you just released your first EP last week. Definitely yes. different. Um, it was produced by Jimmy Landry. He was a big name in the New York music scene, and uh, he actually just did a little sit down with us yes. and uh, played some played some guitar on your on your latest song. How did your collaboration come about? I met Jimmy Landry, someone introduced him to me, and what I loved about him is that, you know, by meeting him, you'd never know he was a big shot, because he's the most humble person ever, and he listened to all my ideas, and I felt like we actually collaborated, rather than him just doing everything and me singing on it. I feel like it was a perfect, perfect fit, and we complimented each other. Cool. Um, well, you are notoriously shy, and yet you were in the extrovert dominated music industry. This album seems to be about how you are navigating your way and finding your comfort zone. Is that the case? Pretty much. Yeah, it pretty much uh, is like parallel to my life, this album. I'm, I'm very honest and I'm not comfortable at all in front of a camera or on stage, but I just feel compelled to do it anyway. Just overcoming the the, the, the fear and, yeah. and making it happen and making your dreams come true. Right. That's that's so cool. It's very important that people do that in their yeah. life. Just oh, you know, the, the living starts at the end of your comfort, comfort zone, zone, as they I say. Love that quote. Exactly. Um, what was your songwriting process like for the CP? Uh, were these songs that you crafted specifically for this release, or had you been working on them for a while? Are they stuff that's been in the pipeline? Uh, these are songs that came about around the time of the EP, but they weren't written for the EP. I had to choose from about like 10 songs to pick which five I wanted to be on the EP. And they all come from either, you know, conversations I've had with people or um, text messages. Like I really do pull inspiration from real life, totally, like not fabrication. That's what inspires me most. People are fascinating. We think you're fascinating. <laughs> What's next on your agenda? Is there going to be a tour, some shows, some video? Yeah, all of the above. I'm planning a trip to Nashville. I feel like I belong there, even though I've never been there. I feel like um, my heart is like country. 
I'm like, I need to be there. And I'm in the process of looking for a steady band so that I can tour the East Coast. And uh, yeah, CMJ, South by Southwest, and I'm already recording my second EP. Awesome. Yeah. That's so great. Okay, so thank you so much. But there's one last question I always ask all my interviewees. So just something your fans don't know about you that might be surprising and that they might not otherwise know. Uh, <laughs> I have a bearded dragon, a pet bearded dragon named Fuego. <laughs> a bearded dragon? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, all right, well, thank you so much for your time. We thank really you. appreciate it. And uh, good luck on what you've got coming up. Thank you. And so hopefully much. we'll see you out there on the road soon. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye.